Hi, this is Di, the bass playing mom, and I wanted to tell you some stories today about things that happened when I was on the worship team at my previous church, which was out in the country. So these are stories about when I went to the country church. So I was on the worship team there. I was a vocalist and um, sang backing vocals and I was on that worship team for five years. And of course, when you're doing something that long, funny things are bound to happen. Church people are people, and so things happen to us, and they end up being funny stories we get to reflect on. So I was gonna share a few of those stories with you today. So here are three stories from when I was on the church worship team at the country church. The first story I was gonna tell you about is a funny incident, we used to uh, play a song and then we had some chairs and we'd sit down for like the announcements and then get up and play some more songs. And after church one day, well actually I think it was probably between services, so we'd play one service then we had the other service to play. I had a, a nice older lady in the church come to us and she said, I want to talk to you. I want to tell you what a great job you guys are doing on worship team, but I did want you to know the gal you're sitting next to, when she sits down, I can see the top of her pantyhose. She was wearing knee-high stockings and she could see the little part on her knee. The next is a story about Easter Sunday. On Easter, you know, there's a lot more people at church than you get the rest of the week. And it was Easter Sunday and so the church was kind of packed and the air conditioner in the building didn't always keep up with the number of people that were there. So the temperature was kind of going up and we got ready to sing and we went to sing the song and everybody stood up and I looked and one guy, tall guy in the back, he just went right over, he passed out right then. Well, he must not have woke up right away because the crowd of people around him sort of spread out and started taking care of him. Everybody in the very back of the church, I saw people come running over to him. Someone called 911. And so while we're waiting for the ambulance, do you know what we did on worship team? Kept going. Yeah, it turns out that the thing you do when you're in the band at the front of the room and there's an emergency at the back of the room is you just keep going. Because if we stopped, the whole room was gonna stop. They would have turned around, they would have stared at him, he would have been more embarrassed. And so instead, what we did was we just kept going. We just kept playing the set, we just kept having church. The fire department got there, they loaded him out, and he was perfectly fine. Nothing was wrong. So that's a good thing, except for, well, the room was a little too warm for a tall, skinny guy. But other than that, nothing was wrong and he was just fine. But that was a big lesson for me to learn, to just keep going no matter what happens. It's very important that you don't get the group of people distracted because they weren't gonna be any help, they were just gonna be in the way. So he got attended to and we kept going. And finally, this was at rehearsal. We were at rehearsal and we were running through the songs and I looked over and I saw that the mini blinds were kind of going like this. Now the building was shaking a little bit, but our church was on the side of a hill and so big trucks would come down and the whole building would shake anyway. So that wasn't something that we thought was strange at all, but seeing those blinds go like that, like, like an S shape almost, or like a snake, that's not what mini blinds are supposed to do. And it got my attention. And finally, we were standing there for a second and someone yelled earthquake and we realized it was an earthquake. If you don't know me, I live near Seattle and that was 1996 and it was the Duval quake. And the Duval earthquake was happening right at that moment. So it was pretty late. It was 9.04 when the Duval quake hit. It was a 5.6 magnitude quake, which is not a huge quake, but it's enough to get your attention, that's for sure. And we realized, oh no, someone yells earthquake. And I look and everyone on my side of the stage, we all ran and we got inside of a doorway and we looked over at our drummer and he had crouched down behind the drum kit. I don't know what that was supposed to accomplish. When the earthquake stopped, we were all getting a really good giggle out of that. What was he doing? He didn't know what it was supposed to accomplish. What is a drum kit going to save you from an earthquake? So the power went out shortly thereafter. Emergency lighting came on. So we just decided to call it a rehearsal and book it out of there. We got out. 
it was kind of nerve-wracking driving home because nobody's inspected the bridges and I had a really high overpass I had to go over to get home so that was kind of nerve-wracking I got home power was out at home too I believe anyway they were able to get it restored pretty quickly but when we got there Sunday we found out some damage to the church that we hadn't seen because obviously the lights went out so we didn't really see everything but the, there's a speaker that goes right over the pastor's head and it is connected by two cables to the ceiling. I guess when they got there on Thursday, one of the cables had broken during the earthquake and that speaker was dangling by one cable. So those are a few stories from when we went to the country church and I was on that worship team. I just wanted to share those with you. Hope they lighten your day. Do you have any stories of things that happened to you on worship team or in a band? I would love to hear them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. God bless.